Hi there. Come on in. Have a seat. Hola. Today's class is going to be on focusing on total fitness. Does anybody know what total fitness is all about? There's five ingredients of total fitness. First one is balance. Second one, flexibility. Third, endurance. Fourth, relaxation. And what's the fifth one? Nobody knows what the fifth one is? Strength, okay? The most important one is all of them all together. That's why we're gonna have total fitness today. We're, we're doing it in the courtyard of Concourse Plaza Wellness Center. Beautiful courtyard here. We did our walk in the morning, or some of you didn't do your walk, but it's good to see you now. And we're gonna start off first by uh, make sure everybody has water, agua. Uh, yeah, get your agua, we'll wait for you. I'm gonna take a couple sips. It's very important to be hydrated and to stay hydrated. Especially in this warm weather, it's summer, now it's about 90 degrees outside, so we wanna keep that body temperature down. Gonna start off by doing a series of uh, stretches. First, we're gonna do the cat. We're gonna slide down, come back up. Notice that we're staying down there for less than one second or less, Slide down and come back up because we don't want a chance for our body to go in defense of the stretch. We're going to do that one more time and come up. Now that half an hour walking got our body really warmed up so we don't have to do too much fl flexibility stuff. But let's loosen up those shoulders. Sit tall, rotate those shoulders forward. See it in your head, draw it with your shoulders. Tap it in, tap, 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 tap. Shake it off, shake it off. Ah, yes. Let's walk to the left. Sit tall, extend that left leg out. Slide down and stay down. Now we're working on flexibility now. So we're gonna take our right hand and bring it up, up vertically if you can. Now if you can, this is better then nothing. So if, if you feel pain here, stop here. But if you can go all the way up, more power to you. Hold it, because we want to be able to hold it for 20 to 30 seconds so the body can have a chance to catch up with the brain. Slowly bring it down. Once again, we don't try to keep up with our Joneses or our neighbors. We're here for ourselves and our loved ones. So here goes the other arm up. Notice one side is better than the other. It's always that way. So we always work on our weaker side and finish with our weaker side. Come down. Straighten up, all the way up, good posture. Now we're gonna walk ourselves over to the right. Extend the leg up, be tall first. Slouches out, slide down. Take that right hand and bring it up, up and away. Look at it, it's a pretty hand. Say hello, hand. We'll be here all day. Say hello, hand. Hello, hand. Hello, hello, hello. Bringing it down. Slowly, everything is in control. Opposite hand goes straight up. Look at your hand. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Remember, as we breathe in, our stomach goes out. As we exhale, our stomach goes in. Bringing the hand down. Walk your hand up, avoid putting pressure on the kneecap. Very fine. Now we're gonna reach up to the sky, turn to the left, put both hands on the chair, looking over your left shoulder, not at me now, not at me. And sit tall, breathe, sit taller. Hold it. Hold it. And relax, relax. Ah. Now we're going to go over to the other side. Hands up. Turn to your right. Put both hands on the chair if you can. 
Once again, if you can't, hold on to what you can hold on. If you can't get the chair, just hold on to the leg. But we want you to extend yourself to the right. Be tall. And release. Rotate the neck three times clockwise. Slowly, don't get hung up on left or right or clockwise or counterclockwise because we're going to be going both directions. One more. Straighten up before we go the other way. Everything is in control, no herky-jerky. Rhythmatic, as we breathe. One more time. Sitting tall, turn your neck to the left for the 10 count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Look forward. To the right, to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look forward. Take your right hand and put it on the right side of your chin, sit tall. Now we're going to bias ourselves to the left with a little bit of pressure. One, two, three. Be tall. Four. Five, six, a little bit further. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Uh, suave, suavecito. Sit tall. Left hand on the left side or the other side. And here we go. Stop at that first resistance. One, two, three, four, five. Six, further, seven, only if you can, eight, nine, ten, relax. Now, once again, if you feel pain, that means wait for the next exercise, okay? Some things might be easy, some things might be, oh no, don't do. So pain means stop, wait for the next exercise. Let's get up out of the chair, we're going to stretch our body out a little bit further. Take that right hand, stick it straight up. Vertical, come over and stop at your first resistance. Don't try to keep up with Judy now. Stay within yourself. Very good, Judy. Down a little bit further, only if you can. Come up slowly. Opposite hand straight out. Straight up, stack those hips, come squarely over. Not forward, we don't want to see how far you can go down. I want you to stack those hips and come over uh, and stop at that first resistance. Down a little bit further, only if you can. Coming up slowly. We're gonna work on agility with our hip flexors, okay? So let me turn the chair 90 degrees so you can see that angle there. I'm gonna start off with my right leg in the knee up in the air. Looking at your knee, you wanna draw a circle three times. Here we go, I'm gonna do it clockwise. One, two, put your hip into it, three. Now we're gonna go the other way. One, over that hurdle, two, one more, three. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Knee up, look what you're doing. See it in your head, draw it with your knee. One, whoops, two, three. Reverse, reverse, reverse. One, two, three, kick it off. Bring the leg up. One, two, three. Four, five, opposite leg, one, 
Oops, got to rotate the chair. Two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna stay with our right leg, otherwise I'll be switching the chairs too much, show the angle. We're gonna reach back and look at your toe. It's, it's been snowing now, I know it's hot here, but let's imagine it's been snowing. And let's draw a figure eight in the snow. Your toes are the letter of the pencil. Draw that figure eight in the snow. Take your time. Quality, quality. Okay, now we're gonna go the other way, drawing the figure eight. Let's stay within that same track. We don't wanna see two eights, we wanna see one eight. See it, take your time. Quality, one more time. Kick it off. Gonna go to the other side. He said, what about me? What about me? We're coming, we're coming. Knee up. Look at your toe. Here we go. Two. Three. Two more. Four. Five. Now, remember that's, that, that eight you drew, drew it, stay within that same eight. Don't want to see two eights. Take your time. One way might be easier than the other. One more. All righty. Get rid of your naughty spots. Get those hink kinks out. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now we're going to tighten up the buns a little bit. Wish I had music for that, but I'll sing to myself. Have the legs tucked out. One toe out, bring it up six inches, and pulse it two inches. We'll do that 15 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Tighten up. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Tighten up those buns. Remember, we're only pulsing our leg two inches, so we're not doing this. Just two inches, bring it off the ground, six inches, pulse it two, squeeze it, tighten up those buns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Gonna do two more sets, hey! One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze it. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Switching legs. Get it back. Quality. Two inches. One, two, three, four, five. Tighten up. Six. Tighten up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Do the tighten up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, one more to go, just do it. Here we go, six inches. One, two, three, two inches, four, five. Squeeze it, six, seven. Tighten up, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh yes, last set, last set. Bring it up, squeeze it to the juices come out. Here we go, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze it, nine. Tighten up, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, bring the legs in. Hold on to the chair. Bend your knees slightly. Hold on to the chair with your fingertips support and just look up top and stretch your back out that way. Ah, feels so good. Ah, straighten up. Okay, where's the water? We gotta stay hydrated, so I got my water, where's yours? See you in 30 seconds, drink some water. Don't guzzle it down now, control it in your mouth before we swallow it. I've done over 100 marathons, and when I would get to the water station, I would slow down, 
control it and then swallow it. Just don't guzzle it down or go down the wrong windpipe. And if it's water's really cold and it's hot, you might get dizzy and find yourself on the floor or brain freeze. You all right? <laughs> so take it easy with the water. Stay hydrated, but take it easy with the water. Going to take a seat now. We're going to hit the strength part of the workout. I have bands today. Downstairs we have bands for all our seniors. So if you don't have a band, go downstairs and we'll get you a band. All right? Now bands are nice and easy to carry. You can fold them up, put them in your pocket. If this was dumbbells and I had a class of 30 people, it would be a chore for me getting all those dumbbells to, to the class. But with bands, you just tighten them up, squeeze them in your bag, and you're good to go. So we're going to work on our biceps today. Somebody touch their bicep. All right, for one dollar, would you like to try for two? Yes, this is your bicep here, and this is your tricep here. Bicep, tricep, okay? So we're going to take the band, and we're going to put it underneath both feet. Ah, I like this band here. It's very coordinated with my shoes. Wait for the helicopter to pass. I'm down here. Okay, let me show you something as we work with our biceps. No good. Stop at the breast line. That should be your apex or your point of return. So it should be right here. You got more strength. If you put it here, you're releasing those muscles. So have it right here, bring it down. We're gonna do 10. Bring it up with a one, two count and bring it back with a one, two, three, four count. So resistance on the return. Sit up. Now if you wanna work on your low abdominal moles also, you bring the legs up a little bit high and tuck it in, all right? So let's sit up and here we go. One, ease it back slowly. Two, keep those legs up, look at them, three. Sit tall, slutch us out. Use that back rest. Four. Control the band. Five, all the weight. Don't let the weight control you. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. I'll just release the band for a minute there. Now, you, people, you go to the gym or they grab some apparatus that they're not sure of. I know how many I can do with just bands. But I, I go, when I use weights, uh, I try to focus on how many times I can do the weight. Now, if you can do it more than uh, 15 times, that means that the weight is too light. Maybe add a couple more pounds. If you can't do it 10 times, that means you're doing too much weight. Maybe you should take something off, okay? So if you can't do 10 times, too much weight. If you can do more than 15 times, add a little weight onto it. But you should add the weight no more than 10% at a time, okay? Now we're gonna work on our triceps. That's the opposite of our biceps. So that's back here. So instead of holding the band, all the weight like this with the palms up, we're gonna have our palms down. And we're gonna have our elbows in, not flaring out like this. Elbows are gonna be in, and we're gonna pull it up like this, and then lay it back down. Let's set it up again. Underneath both feet. Sit back, good posture, better results. Legs up, a little bit higher. Remember, you gotta keep it up there as you go along, you don't want it to drop. Palms down, and here we go. Pull, one, two. Get it up any way you can, but control it, return. Three, keep those shoulders down low, elbows in, four. I gotta keep my legs up. 
practice what I preach. Five. Steady. Control the band. Six. Seven. In control. Eight. Nine. And the final one. Ten. Gonna work on our ankles. You need ankles for stability. You step in a hole wrong or you step off the curb and miss a step. We don't want to fall down and yell, somebody call 911. We want to be able to say, oops. So 10 times, we're going to open up both legs, six inches. So here we go. One, two, bring it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it together. Now, I'm only going to move my right leg. So the right leg moves, the left leg stays still. Here we go. One, two, legs up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs back up. We're right across the street from Yankee Stadium, and I think they're playing their game. That's why we have all this company upstairs. Here we go. One, two, three. Legs up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I told you I'm busy today. I can't throw the ball out. See you later. Now we're going to go into balance. Balance is very important for seniors. So we want to have confidence that if we go out shopping, we'll be able to make it back in the house without having a fall. And once you reach 65, 80% of us will have a fall at least once a year. So we have to be that 20% that don't fall, okay? So I'm gonna walk behind my chair. Keep staying hydrated. The first one I'm gonna do is tightrope. Both of my feet are gonna be on the line as if I was walking that tightrope, all right? Put the chair off to the side. Arms out for balance. Arms together. Arms out. Ooh, arms above the head. Arms out. Behind the back. Arms out. In front. To my right. Back to center. To my left, back to center, whoops, whoa, work on that balance. Now, we're gonna switch legs. Let me see which leg I had first, okay. Now it's coming back to me. I had a senior moment. Put one leg in front. People usually put their predominant leg up front first, so this might be a little bit more challenging. So I'm gonna have my chair closer to me. This is my support blanket. Ready, here we go, arms out. In front, out, behind, out, in front. To my left, back to center, to my right, back to center. Kick it off. Next, we're going to show which leg is stronger than the other leg. It's called leg strength and balancement. So, we're gonna be on the, okay, is this a good spot right here? We're on a boat. The boat shifts to the left. And we stick the outside leg out. 
and we're going to hold it out like this for a count of 15 and count to see how many times you got to touch the ground. So stand tall, shift, stick the leg out and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. That was about three or four times, right? Okay, now we're going to shift the other way. Stick the leg out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So what do we see there? Which leg is stronger? My left leg is stronger, so if I have the tendency of falling, I'm going to fall to my left. So what I want need to do is start off with the weak leg and do one more set with the weak leg. Okay? Now, what's next? Strike the dragon, reach out, pull quality toward the heart center. Quality, quality. We're going to bend our legs, poetry in motion. Pull quality toward the heart center as we paint the moon three times. Dipping the legs, not the head, because we don't miss out on what? Opportunities. So let's blossom like a flower. Ah, yes. Poetry in motion. And the last one for peace on earth. Give yourself a hug. Pat yourself on the shoulder and say, well done. Well, it's Coach Lon Wilson checking out for you today. Hope to see you tomorrow or in the park, in the center, and stay active. Thanks a lot for coming.